Good morning, everyone. This is the Unique History Channel, and we'll be reading from the Old Testament, the prophecy of Joel. Chapter 1. Joel extraneth to the morning. The word of the Lord that came to Joel, the son of Pethuah. Hear this, ye old men, and give ear, and ye inhabitants of the land. Hath this been in your days, or even the days of your fathers? Tell ye your children of it, and let your children tell their children, and their children of and other generation, that which the palmer worm hath heath the locust eaten, and that which the locust hath left hath the canker worm eaten, and that which the canker worm hath the caterpillar eaten. Awaken, ye drunkards, and ye weep, and howl, ye drinkers of wine, because of the new wine is cut off from your mouth. For a nation has come up upon my land, strong and without number, whose teeth are teeth of a lion, and he hath the cheek teeth of a great lion. He hath laid my wine waste, and barked my fig tree. He hath made it clean, bare, and cast it away, and the branches therefore are made white. Lament like a virgin, griddled with a sackle cloth for the husband of her youth. The meat offering and the drink offering is cut off from the house of the Lord. The priests, the Lord ministers, mourn. The field is wasted. The land mourneth, for the corn is wasted. The new wine is dried up. Oil languisheth. languisheth. Be ye ashamed, O ye husbandmen. Howl, O ye vine dressers, for the wheat and for the barley, because the harvest of the field is perished. The wine is dried up, and the fig tree languisheth, the pomegranate tree, the palm tree, also the apple tree, even all the trees of the field, are withered because the joy is withered away from the sons of men. Grid yourselves, and lament ye priests, how ye ministers of the altar. Come lie all night in sackcloth, ye ministers of my God, for the meat offering and the drink offering is withholden from the house of your God. Sanctify ye. A fast, call a solemn assembly, gather the elders and all inhabitants of the land into the house of the Lord your God, and cry to cry upon the Lord. Alas for the day, for the day of the Lord is at hand, and as destruction from the Almighty shall it come. It is not meat cut off before our eyes, yeah, joy and gladness from the house of our God? The seed is rotten under their clods, the gardeners are laid desolate, the barns are broken down, and the court is corn is withered. How do the beasts groan? The herds of the cattle are perplexed because they have no pasture, yet the flocks of sheep are made desolate. O Lord, to thee I will I cry, for the fire hath devoured the pastures of the wilderness, and the flame hath burned all the trees of the field. The beasts of the field cry also unto thee, for the rivers of the water are tried up, and the fire hath devoured the pastures. Chapter 2 Below ye the trumpet in Zion Sound an alarm In my holy mountain Let all the inhabitants of the land tremble For the day of the Lord cometh For it is night at hand A day of darkness And of gloominess A day of clouds And a thick darkness As the morning spread upon the mountains A great people, a strong here hath not been ever like, neither shall be any more after it, even to the years of many generations. A fire devoureth before them, and behind them a flame burnt, as the land is the garden of Eden before them. Behind them a desolate wilderness, yeah, and nothing shall escape them. The appearance of them is as the appearance of the horses, and as horsemen shall shall they run, like the noise of the chariots on the top of the mountains. Shall they leap like a noise of the flame of the fire that the devoureth the stump, uh, the stubble as a strong people set in battle array before their face? The people shall be much pained. All faces shall gather blackness. They shall run like mighty men. They shall climb the wall like men of war, and they shall march every one onto his ways, and they shall not break their ranks. Neither shall one thrust another, and he shall walk every one in his path. And when they fall upon the sword, 
they shall not be wounded. They shall run to and fro the city, and they shall run upon the wall, and they shall climb up upon the houses, and they shall enter into the houses and the windows like a thief. The earth shall quake before them, the heavens shall tremble, and the sun and the moon shall be dark, and the stars shall withdraw their shining. And the Lord shall shudder his voice before his army, and for his camp is very great. He is strong that executeth his word. For the day of the Lord is great and very terrible. Who can abide it? Therefore also now saith the Lord, Turn ye even to me with all ye heart, and with fasting, and with weeping, and with mourning, and render your heart and not your garments, and turn unto the Lord, Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, so to anger, and of great kindness, and repenteth him of the evil, who knoweth if he will return and repent, and leave a blessing behind him, even a meat offering and a drink of offering upon the Lord your God. Blow the trumpet in Zion, sanctify a feet fast, call a solemn assembly, gathering the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children, those that suck the breast, let the bridegroom go forth of his chamber, and the bride out of her closet. Let the priests, the ministers of the Lord, weep between the porch, the altar, and let them say, Spare thy people, O Lord, and give not thine heritage to reproach, and that heathen should rule over them. Wherefore, should they say among the people, Where is their God? Then will the Lord be jealous for his land and pity in his people. Yeah, the Lord will answer and say unto his people, Behold, I will send you corn and wine and oil, and ye shall be satisfied therewith. And I will no more make you reproach among the heathen. But I will remove far off from you the northern army, which will drive him into a land barren and desolate with his face towards the east sea, and hinder part toward the utmost sea, and his stink shall come upon and his ill savior shall come upon him because he hath done great things. Fear not, O land. Be glad and rejoice, for the Lord will do great things. Be not afraid, ye beasts of the field, for the pastures of the wilderness do spring for the tree brethren of her fruit. The fig tree and the vine do yield their strength. Be glad then, ye children of Zion, and rejoice in the Lord your God, and for he hath given you the former rain moderately, and he will cause to come down for the rain, for the former rain, and the latter rain in the first month. And the floor shall be full of wheat, the thatch shall be overthrown with wine and oil, and I will restore to you the years that the locust hath eaten, the canker worm, and the caterpillar, and the palmer worm, my great army which I sent among you. And ye shall sit in plenty, and be satisfied, and the praise of the name of the Lord your God, that hath dealt with wonderfully, wonderfully with you, and my people shall never be ashamed. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel, and that I am the, God, the Lord your God, and none else, and my people shall never be ashamed. And it shall come to pass afterwards that I will pour my spirit upon to the flesh. Your sons and your daughters shall prophecy, and your old men shall dream dreams, and your young men shall see visions. And upon the servants, and upon the handmaidens, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and I will shrew wonders to the heavens, and into the earth, blood and fire, and the pillars of smoke. The sun shall be turned into darkness, and the moon into blood, and before the great and terrible day of the Lord come, it shall come to pass that however shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be delivered in the amount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deli delivered as the Lord has said in the remnant of what the Lord shall call. Chapter 3 God's judgments against the enemies of his people, his blessings upon the church. For behold, in those days, in that time, when I shall bring against the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and bring them down into the valley of Jesuspet and plead with them there my people and for my heritage Israel for whom they have scattered among the nations and parted my land and if and they have cast lots for my people and have given a boy 
poor harlot and sold the girl for wine that they might drink. Yeah, and what have ye done to do with me, O Tyre and Zedom, and all the coasts of Palestine? And will ye re render me a recompense? And if ye recompense me swiftly, speedily, I will return your recompense your own head. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold, and have carried into your temples my good, pleasantly things. The children of Judah and the children of Israel have sold upon the Grecians, and yet ye removed them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of place, and whither ye have sold them, and will return your recompense upon your own head. And I will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the children of Judah, and they shall sell them into the Ebeans, to a people far off, for the Lord has spoken it. Proclaim ye among the Gentiles, prepare war, wake up the mighty men, let all the men of war draw near, and let them come up. Beat your plowshares into the swords, and your pruning hooks into the spears, and let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves, and come all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together around thee, tither, cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be weakened, and come upon the valley of Geospatith, Geospatith. For I will sit there to judge all the heathen round about. Put ye the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come, get you down. For the press is full of fats, it will flow, for their weakness is great. Multitudes, multitudes, in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near, and in the valley of decision. The sun of the moon shall be darkened, and the stars shall withdraw from their shining. And the Lord shall roar of Zion, and utter his voice from Jerusalem. And the heavens and the earth shall shake, but the Lord will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. So shall ye know that I am the Lord your God, dwelling in my Zion, my holy mountain, and shall Jerusalem be holy, and there shall be no strangers pass through her any more. And it shall come to pass in a day that the mountains shall drop down new wine, and the hills shall flow with milk and all the rivers of Judah shall flow with waters and where the foundation shall come forth of the house of the lord and shall water the valley of the Shemitten. egypt shall be a desolate desolation and edom shall be a desolate wilderness for the violence against the children of judah because they have shed innocent blood in their land but judah shall dwell forever in jerusalem from generation to generation for i will cleanse their blood that i have not cleansed for the lord dwells in zion